Hey there, everybody. As you can see, uh, we have a new trailer. It's out. My backdrop is, like, completely gone. We're in the process of moving. So if you're new, it normally looks a lot better behind me. But right now, we have a new trailer. We have a legendary hero. Uh, like I said, I was thinking it was going to be Lucina, Micaiah, but it's probably Lucina. So let's see. Um, the options of having, like a bow or a flying lance or something like that are always on the table based on her promotions and stuff that she's had in games. So let's see what we got this time around. If it will, oh my gosh, really? It's not going to start. Can we, can, but, but, oh my gosh, hold on. There we go. Now we're live. I don't know why this video was so hard to play. I'm so confused, but I'm excited. Glorious Archer. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. We have Lucina. We'll come back to that in a minute. Oh, glorious. Glorious. So we got a blue bow. A blue bow, baby. Oh, the animation looks so good! Ugh! Alright. Azura's back. We got Brave Lynn. Christmas Lissa. New Year Camilla. Uh, Love of Balance Lolina. Krom. Uh, Grima's back, sure. Bo Hanoka. Legendary Lynn. Ishtar. Legendary Realma's back. We kind of knew that was going to happen. Okay. So we're going to dive in and look at this in like a hot minute. Uh, hopefully I can restart this. I can't restart. The, uh, why is this? Why is this video so difficult? I'm so angry. Okay. Well, that's all right. So let's look at this. First and foremost, let's go back to Lucina here. Lucina. Bow Lucina. Infantry. Blue bow. I'm in love. She's a wind. She's a wind. I knew. I thought. I think that we were thinking we were gonna maybe get a uh, water or wind type legendary hero. We got a wind. Glor gor glorious, gorgeous, everything in between. Uh, Thogan, effective against flying foes. Grant speed plus three if unit initiates combat. And foe uses sword, lance, axe, and dragonstone. Grants attack speed, defense, res plus four during combat. Oh my. Okay. Alright. <laughs> that's, uh... Okay. So basically anything that's not dagger, staff, or bow. Right? Is that everything? Sword, lance, axe, dragonstone, and tome. I guess tome also. So anything that's not a staff, tome, bow, um, shuriken... Throwing star, whatever you want to call it. Wow. That's crazy. That's actually kind of nuts. That's actually kind of insane. Wow. Okay. Uh, future vision. That's new. We have a new. We have a new support skill here. Uh, if unit and target allies swap spaces, grants another action to unit. What? Once per turn only. Dude, that is insane! If I'm understanding that correctly, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Wow. Okay, she's got Swift Sparrow too. Dope. Wings of Mercy. Great. Distant Guard. Allies within two spaces gain. If foe uses bow, dagger, magic, or staff, grants defense, res, plus four during combat. Wow. Okay. So, in the reverse effect, we have her weapon giving a stat buff of plus four to everything. Uh, that is against a sword, lance, axe, or dragonstone. And then everything else that's not covered, bow, dagger, magic, staff, um, allies within two spaces get defense res 
plus four. So she she somehow gets or gives a buff based on any type of enemy on the field. That's pretty incredible. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty incredible. I'm very impressed by that. I am super excited about that. Um, I can't play it for whatever reason. It's not being cooperative today. But um, let's take a look at who we've got coming up here. I'm definitely... I am, I am going to hit this legendary banner so hard, you guys. Uh, Alright, so we've got New Year Camilla, Azura. We've got uh, the Horseman Crom. Uh, Bo Hanoka, Ishtar, uh, Brave Lynn, who is a great unit, uh, Love Abounds, Lelina, <sighs> Christmas Lissa, um, Legendary Robin, Legendary Rioma, and then Legendary um, Lynn as well. So I'm going to hit blues and greens pretty hard, not going to lie. Blues and greens, coming at it. Um, there's not really anything colorless that I would necessarily need aside from merges, but my Lin and my Hanoka are pretty solid already. I have a pretty good uh, legendary Robin. So my Lelina is bad. I have a bad IV Lelina. And uh, I would love to get more merges for Christmas Lissa because I just gave her distant counter, and that would be amazing. So greens are good. I would love some greens. Blues, we got Ishtar, who has, I think, Odd Attack Wave, which is a great fodder skill. Azura, who, you know, I have merges of already. She's a pretty solid unit. Wouldn't be get, wouldn't be upset to get more of her. So I am pretty pleased with what I'm going to pull for here. Uh, red units, of course, are, you know, they are what they are. Um, I, I could take or leave them for the most part. I have a Krom. He's a bad Krom, but he's being helpful, so we love him anyway. Uh, ultimately, I, blues and greens are what I would pull for anyway, and it just so happens that those are legendary heroes that I need. So my life is great right now. Tell me what you guys think about the, uh, the legendary banner that we're going to be getting in two days, a day and a half-ish at this point. And, uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I'm pretty excited. It's not like the strongest legendary banner we've seen. It does have a lot of good fodder. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pumped to get Legendary Heroes because I don't have Lin, and I want Lin. So we're going for colored bows this time around. Yay! <laughs> Let me know what you guys are excited for or not excited for. Were you surprised it was Lucina? Uh, were you not surprised it was Lucina? We were right on this channel because I said it was going to be a blue Lucina, and by God, we got a blue Lucina. Um, I kind of forgot that she could use bows. I thought she'd be like a flying uh, lance user. But bow is cool too. She does use a bow and stuff like Fire Emblem Warriors and things like that. So, yeah. Great. Thank you. Let me know what your thoughts are. That's it for me. Uh, have a great night. And I will catch you guys next time.